Hey. Hey. You're here. That's good. That actually saves me a trip. Needless to say, there were leftovers. You made me a doggy bag. <laughs> Just because I hate you doesn't mean I want you starved to death. <laughs> Besides, Bonnie's alive. You know, this is like the first Thanksgiving in forever where there's something to actually be thankful for. So... Caroline, um... Look, when Damon was gone, I, um... I pushed you away. Yeah, I know, Stefan. You pushed everyone away. It's kind of what you do. But I pushed you away the most. I knew that you were the one person who would sit with me and let me cry, and I didn't want to cry anymore. So I had to push you away the most. Thank you for saying that. Listen. Uh... Enjoy the leftovers. then does that make you Uncle Stefan? I tell you the secret I've been keeping for 18 years, and that's what you're worried about. No, I think it's incredibly noble that you've been keeping an eye on her all these years. And she's lucky to have you in her life, even if she has no idea. Hey, so I know it goes without saying, but I would appreciate it if... Your secret's safe with me, Stefan. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for coming with me today and for rewiring my mom's speaker system and for just not treating me like a crazy person because that's how I felt these past few days. <sighs> so thank you. Wish me luck. Probably get him out of here. He'll be up soon, and I really don't feel like another go around. Sorry that you heard what I said. It's fine, Caroline. I really don't care. Why? No, why don't you care? You're the one who always cared. It's what I liked about you. You know, amidst all the crazy in our perfectly messed up lives. You cared more than anyone. So how could you just stop? Because I had to. I had to move on. You know, the months before I moved here, I was following every lead that a lark sent my way. I spoke to every witch, every shaman, every psychic in 20 countries around the globe, and every lead was a dead end. But Enzo has another lead. There's this coven in Oregon. The Gemini coven. Yeah, I looked into them too, Caroline. There was nothing there because there's nothing we can do. Damon and Bonnie are dead. I had to come to terms with that. And once I did, I had to start over. I couldn't just live my old life with my old friends. I couldn't go near Mystic Falls or Elena or- me? Because I thought we were closer than that. I mean, you couldn't hear in all those messages that I left you? You couldn't hear that I was completely falling apart without you? You never listened to them. I had to move on. I didn't have a choice. I had to erase everything. Well, let me summarize them for you. You're a dick. If you want him out of your house, you throw him at yourself.
just doesn't make sense. My mom would have said something to me. We were worried, so Elena compelled one of the doctors for information. Okay. So my mom has a brain tumor, then we'll just give her vampire blood. Caroline, don't you think that if our blood cured cancer, we would have heard about that by now? Fine, then when are they going to operate? It's a problem. They can't. <laughs> okay, well, if they can't operate, then they'll give her chemo, right? The tumor is growing so fast, the doctors don't think that'll work. Well, then they're wrong. Because they don't know her. <laughs> they don't know how strong she is. I mean, she's going to get through this. Seven. not know about Ivy, but... But what? What? I was fooling myself. I was using her as an escape. Yeah, I know what you think, Caroline. Well, actually, I was gonna say, but killing Enzo won't bring her back. No, but it'll stop him from reminding me of my brother. I kill him, I can leave this place, and I can start over again. So... that's why you left all those messages on my phone promising apologies? That's why you visited Elena? That's why you came to this party just to kill Enzo and start over? Yep. I don't believe you. I know that a part of you misses this place and these people, your friends. I know that being back here reminds you how much we need you, how much I need you. But if I'm wrong, then go ahead. Just go. Start over. But, God, if I'm right, if just a little part of you came back to check on Elena, who's had an unbearable four months, or Alaric, who just came back from the dead, or me, if even just a small little part of you came back to check on me, then stay. Pretty sure I crushed that. <laughs> hmm. 
Moving, truly. Although it did lack a certain uh, authenticity. What the hell are you doing? That was the director. And you are a vampire without humanity, singing about heartbreak. It's a performance, Stefan. It sure is, Caroline, especially this carefully crafted good student routine, straight and narrow. Anything to keep you from making a mistake you might regret one year from now when you flip your switch back on. Oh, except the whole uh, ruining my life part. Well, if your humanity's off, then you shouldn't really care how I deal. No, no, no. See, that's where you're wrong. Because like you, I'm prone to doing bad things when my humanity is off. But unlike you, I don't have an elaborate system to keep me in check. Well, that's not my problem. Well, I'm making it your problem. If my life is gonna fall apart when my humanity starts flooding back, then so is yours. When I'm done with you, you'll be drowning in mistakes. So this is seriously about revenge? Yes, it is. And this, this is a control freak's worst nightmare. This is me undoing your routine. This is me forcing you to let go. One day at a time, until you break. Hello, gorgeous. What did you do to him? Oh, he's fine. Just a little blood loss. I think he may have an iron deficiency problem. Knock it off. Mother's life is on the line. Look, hang on. Just so I'm clear, all Caroline had to do to get you to treat her with a, a modicum of respect is to stop paying attention to you. Is that how this works? Shut up, Enzo. And did he really need three chains? I mean, who is this guy, the Hulk? Well, I didn't restrain him. No, but you let your sidekick Enzo do it. Because what could go wrong when you team up with your sworn enemy? Oh, that's brilliant. Of course, that's why she hates you. That's how you worked her in such a state in Savannah. That's why she told you to go take a leap. She hates you because she doesn't hate you at all. So are you still talking? She's got a thing for you, mate. Tell your mom I send my best. Whatever he just said, it will never be discussed again, okay? Mm -hmm. <sighs> hey, is that an M&M? &M? Where? Right there. A little to the left, a little to the left. Right there, right. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, it was just a leaf. Is this funny to you? Well, we are in the middle of the woods searching for a teddy bear buried in a shallow grave by a nine-year-old version of you. <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face. So yeah, that is funny. Drunk. No, 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 no. You have more ground to cover. You're a jerk. Jerk, huh? Yeah. Oh, you sound angry. I'm not angry, okay? I'm just annoyed because I'm going through a highly emotional situation right now and you're just sitting there mocking me. Definitely angry. I'm not angry okay well you should be your mom is dying your best friend is stuck in some netherworld and you're sitting here trying to make it all better by finding a stuffed animal shut up that make you feel better no try again screw you it's good get it out I cannot believe you just did that. Well, you started it. <sighs> Felt good, though, didn't it? Maybe a little. Chris, Chris. Ooh. Are you booing me? Who? I scared him. But I scared you, right? 
the whole chair flippy and the bottle thing? Who are you people? Oh, I'm Caroline. This is Stefan. And that mm, was delicious. Taste. Mmm. What's going on? Well, Caroline and I have a little bet that she would scare you to death. Like, literally scare you to death. But you have to understand this is her first time messing with somebody, so she didn't realize the whole dead body shock drop thing is a complete cliche. Cliche? This guy was my friend. Well, then why aren't you freaking out? A panic attack, a heart attack. Come on, give me something. <sighs> I don't think you heard me. You're having a heart attack. What are you... Oh. Ah, my chest. What's happening? She's cheating. That's what's happening. Please, help me. Uh, just relax. It's mental. You only think you're having a heart attack. Now your throat's tightening. You can't breathe. <laughs> oh, my God. Are those spiders all over your body? <laughs> guy was so scared that he died of a heart attack. No, that's not fair. Technically, he died of a loophole. A win is a win. So you know what we do now? <sighs> yes, unfortunately, I do. <sighs> Karaoke. God, I found her. She's gonna be okay. Oh, really? Stefan, are you okay? Well, I will be in one second. Hmm. I really needed that. Please don't tell me that you shut it off. Stefan, don't you dare tell me that you shut it off. Okay. I won't. Racing again, Stefan. Let me fix that. Get on. Please stop. <laughs> okay. Needle and thread as requested. Do I want to know why you've suddenly decided to take up sewing? <laughs> Well, Caroline and I spent the entire day digging in the woods to find a teddy bear, and now she wants to repair it. She's very task-oriented. Yes, I am aware. Thank you. What the hell is this? It's a memory. A real one. Thank you. You uh, should have seen the look on Caroline's face when that bear fell apart. You're a good friend to her, Stefan. I hope someday you'll be more than that. I'm dying. I'm allowed to be blunt. It's a time saver. Well, I don't think the timing is right for me and Caroline right now with everything going on. Don't blame me, why don't you? No, I just mean if I'm going to start something with Caroline, I want it to be perfect. No loss, no pain, no grief. You might be waiting a while. I'm a patient guy. Hey, do you want me to mail that out for you? Oh, no, thanks. I'm still working on it. I'll mail it out tomorrow. I have an idea of what I want to say. I just, I guess I want it to be perfect, too. You're a good mom. I hope so. I want to see the rest. Let me see her. Wait, Mom! Mom! It's me, it's Caroline. Hey, I, just come outside. I want to talk to you. I want to read your letter. <laughs> Please, Mommy. Stop. Stop. Stop that. 
Make her come back. I can't. No, just show me the vision again, okay? I, I want to see my mom, Stefan. I, I need to know what she said in that letter. I already gave you the letter. Whatever it was, it's gone. No. <laughs> I did this. This is all my fault. No. <laughs> I tried to kill you, and then I made you turn it off, and then we... Oh, my God. Sorry, Caroline, it's okay. I'm so sorry, Stefan. I ruined everything. I ruined everything. 